Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome back to my podcast on Spotify, if you are listening to the audio version only. Know that that link is posted below all my videos. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle forecast for the week of October the 10th to the 16th, 2022. Let's see what we have here, my beautiful Libras, starting off with your first of three oracle messages you have the new moon and it is indicative of a new start is coming. So we all know with the full moon, this is when we purge, we rejuvenate, we regenerate and we cast away the things or complete things that we need to finish, not leaving things unfinished and unresolved so that we can move into the next phase and start a new project, a new beginning as the moon starts to go into its next cycles. So there is a new start coming in for some of you. You may be starting a new phase in your life. You may be starting a new job you may be starting your own business you may be going into a new relationship you may be moving into a new location whatever and whoever this is for there is a new start coming coming in with that you have the tower and now the tower depending on the deck uh, has different representations this particular deck is the gilded reverie lenormand deck and in this particular uh, you know book it represents things that are different here, such as organizations, and it has to do with lots of different things here. And particularly in the in, in this particular representation, it's corporations, organizations, institutions, and possibly government issues that some of you could be mindful of and having to deal with at this time. Um, it's, but it's also, when we speak of the tower, we think of a structure that offers protection and security. In traditional tarot, we know that, the, that this structure represents change, rebuilding. Something may have suddenly happened that's redirected you to make those changes to, uh, to improve things in your life. And that is building a brand new structure, a build, building a brand new secure place a brand new uh, beginning for you. Uh, this fortress that you feel secure at. You could be building a new business. You could be building a new relationship. All of those things that I said about a new start coming. So get ready. I think there's change coming in. I think that if something was on unsteady ground and it came crashing down, now you, you are starting to look at things from a different perspective and saying, not going to happen to me again. I've learned from that situation and I'm going to be responsible for the changes I'm making right now, which are going to be for the greater good for me. Coming in with that, and I love this, from the tea leaf deck, you've been given the card of happiness. And it's beautiful. This is about freedom, being about being happy in the moment, about abundance and prosperity and feeling all that beautifulness around you. So I do believe that there's going to be happiness brought in as you make the changes to rebuild something here in your life. And it will be a brand new start. Coming in with your first in your first row with your first tarot cards, you've got the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So definitely there's change coming in here uh, to you. But it's all because you stood your ground. It's all because you didn't give up here with the Eight of Wands. Uh, you never backed down. You never wavered. This is the card that says you went after what you wanted and you stood your ground. And now you're able to go forward and make these changes in your life. Do what it is you want to do here. This is a beautiful card that says don't back down. Don't change your mind. Don't allow those naysayers or the opposing energies to make you roll over and give up. Hold on tight because... Things now are going to be moving in high gear for you as well. I think you're going to hit the ground running uh, now. You put in a lot of work and an energy into something, and now the, you know you you have to wait for this to come in, your 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 fruition to come in and to manifest. Don't give up. Okay, you're going to be prepared now. You put in the work, and you may have to do some have some physical strength too. Let go of those ideas of paranoia. Don't wear yourself out with that mindset. You've got the Ace of Swords. Aces are beginnings of everything. And we know that the Ace of, Ace of Swords is new ideas, inspir inspiring ideas, uh, victory after hard work and struggle, moving forward towards new goals here, you know, new ideas. Um, and also it could be a challenging beginning, but you have this ability to turn a negative into a positive, all because you didn't give up. You didn't roll over with all those naysayers and the negative energy and opposing energy coming in around you. So this is about making an, an intellectual uh, solution here by moving forward, and it's brilliant for you. 
and you have a new understanding now. This is about being able to see clarity and the confusion now is going to be behind you. You're ready to move forward at this time. Great. Coming in next, you've got the card of temperance and the card of the two of swords. So it's difficult right now. You could be feeling confused. <clears throat> you may have a, a, a profound decision to make and you're, you just don't see uh, your way clear to do that. This is about letting yourself get up in your head. Don't stop yourself and hold yourself back. Don't shoot your foot off and sabotage yourself to go forward and see the picture in clarity. If this is a legal situation where you're dealing with opposing energy and another person, where you are debating and you are confused about making decisions and choices that could be determined around settlements, disbursements of properties, anything like that. I always say this is the card of, you know, retaining counsel, someone that can come in and be biased, lay the cards in an equitable and fair manner on the table so that you can see openly and transparently what you have there to choose from and then you'll be able to make this decision so definitely compromise comes into the equation when we have this happen temperance says don't rush in okay don't push yourself to the point of exhaustion and go rushing in making rash decisions making fast choices without being sure it's going to bring you long-term benefits so temperance says yeah get together around that table in the conference room Get together with that team of people that are supporting you. Collectively, sit together and communicate. Share dialogue where you stand and what you seem to gain and what you seem to lose. You know, this is a card that says you that, that, that the powers that be have your back. You know, temperance is always, uh, you know, in the graphics of any deck shows either wings behind you or an angel. And that means that you now know that you've got guidance, good representation here to follow through with, to make those choices and decisions that could be life-changing for you. Coming in in the center position, you're definitely moving on and you're going to see this temperance situation is going to be over because you're going to be able to charge forward towards your goals with the eight of wands. So two eights here, very indicative. Now we know that the eight is a number, it also is not the infinity sign. Um, but it is the number that we meditate on to manifest material things in our life, whether it's money, jobs, career, things like that. Uh, this particular card says get ready because you're definitely moving in a new direction with the Eight of Cups. This is a card of balance, so be careful. When this sudden energy and shift of energy moves in towards you, make sure that you still are careful, okay? Um, Better to err on the side of caution rather than go charging in. This says you're going to be hearing about a lot of contact, a lot of uh, information coming in. Um, could be business contacts, could be more clients, could be uh, more letters and emails and Zoom meetings and all those things that could be coming in. But you're going to be hearing about a lot of information and there's going to be a lot of activity coming in. This is a card that says get ready because you're going to hit the ground running. Now again the Eight of Cups says balance yourself. Don't push yourself too fast. Charter your your uh, your direction uh, you know slowly. And also, you know, like a thousand miles starts with one step. So don't go ru rushing in head first into something without being sure that you're ready. Okay. Um, also, you know, the four of wands can be the arrows of Cupid. Something suddenly could come in there for some of you where you're going to um, be confronted with some new relationship that presents itself. Now, next card you have coming in is the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So, excellent, excellent shift of energy. The Three of Cups is indicative of celebrating something beautiful. Now, I talked about the Eight of Wands. It could be the Wands of Cupid, the Arrows of Cupid coming in. So, there could be a, a wedding announcement, an engagement, uh, a reason to celebrate something beautiful like that. So, you're definitely going to want to celebrate something, whether it's partnership, commitment, uh, whatever it is for whoever this message is for, you will come to a point with the Ten of Pentacles of complete peace and satisfaction. This is the ultimate card here where you, your home life, your relationships, everything seems to fall in place as you wish and as you've dreamed of. 
and knowing too that now you stand secure within your castle, within your home, within the material part of your life and the emotional part of your life. So get ready to celebrate some beautiful, beautiful situation in your life. And here it comes. Again, look what you have. You have the Three of Cups, a double representation of celebrating something. Big, profound message coming in this reading. Definitely, there's going to be something to celebrate here. Again, is it your job, your career, a new move, a promotion, opening your own business? Is it a, a, the, the announcement of a birth, an engagement, a partnership, a wedding, anything like that? You're definitely going to want to celebrate beautiful occasion to get together and with that is the nine of cups this is wishes fulfilled all this hard work and effort that you've made in this new start that you're beginning building this new foundation for yourself is going to bring you happiness as we said in the beginning of this reading not giving up moving forward standing in your uh, standing your ground and getting the counsel the help and the representation to guide you through making these right decisions. All through this, you're balancing yourself. So beautiful cards that say, yes, this is going to be some movement forward of happiness, a brand new beginning for you, and you're rebuilding this brand new foundation. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, Libra, and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I stand in the circle of love and light for you, and I'll see you soon.